Let's volunteer with Remote Area Medical. It's my 50th birthday. That's where I am right now. I'm in Athens, Tennessee. They have the Mobile Command Center uh, set up right behind me. We're going to go and check in with the volunteers. Remote Area Medical does an awesome job with their free clinic. They're here in Athens, Tennessee for two days. I've already heard that a thousand people were lined up at 315 this morning. That's when they began giving out, giving out uh, tickets. They have a documentary about the program. I'm going to link that below. I'm not going to be able to do any filming inside for privacy reasons, but I did want to let you know about volunteering with Remote Area Medical because it is possibly one of the most rewarding things that you'll ever do. And I think it's a great way to spend my 50th birthday, if I do say so myself. And there's the command center truck right behind me. So let's go in and see what this all is all about. See you shortly. I just spent two hours here working with Remote Area Medical. Um, what they do, if you're not familiar with them, is they go around, they set up these free clinics so people can come and get medical care. These ladies let me take a short video of the information booths that were set up. I'm sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I was having problems with asthma. Thank you for your patience on that. It started when Stan Brock, he was with Mutual of Omaha, um, Wild Kingdom. Um, he's also done some other things. Um, it started when he was in South America. And I forget how many days journey it was to the closest doctor. I'm thinking it was around three weeks. Anyway, he started doing some medical care there. Um, and then his attention was drawn to the need for medical care here in the U.S. Um, and so they started doing clinics here. They still do them internationally, but they also do them in different places in the U.S. And if you can imagine, I don't know how many um, spaces, slots, tickets, whatever you want to call it, that they gave out today. But I will tell you that I was in a room for the screening for vision exams, um, and that room sat about 60 people and was, stayed full the entire time. It was just a constant rotation. Uh, somebody said that the physicians were seeing around 250 people today just for vision. So I'm not sure how many physicians they have here. It's, I don't. I don't think it's that many uh, for vision. But if you can imagine what that number is per hour, it's pretty incredible. But this has been an interesting, uh, mind-boggling experience. Um, some of the people that came in, I knew a couple of them personally um, that really personified the need. And um, I mean, I grew up as a kid without health insurance. I don't know that my mom would ever have taken me to something like this, but it really increases my compassion for those who were there today, if you will. It's, it's just been an amazing experience. So, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to ponder today. So, thank you guys for watching the piece about remote area medical. Um, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you guys out about and online. Um, if you've ever been to remote area medical, then definitely leave a comment down below. I received the following screenshot by text message after I recorded this video. It outlines the number of patients that they saw and the dollar amount of the services provided. It really outlines both the need of the medical services that they provide and underscores the compassion of the people who help. It's a whole arch. It symbolizes hope, which is just what the people at Remote Area Medical received. If you've been involved with Remote Area Medical, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you out about and online. Bye!